Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 legacy of the Forge game crashing at startup, not launching, not loading, st stuck on loading screen, black screen, lagging, freezing, low FPS or other issues on PC. So let's go through it. So the first method is to check system requirements. So for that, go to Steam and here you need to search for the game. After that, go below. And here you can see the system requirements to play the game. So after checking the system requirements, now try to launch the game and check if it fixes the issue. Next is to restart your PC as well as Steam. So for that, go to Steam and click on Steam option over here, then click on exit. After this, go to the, uh, after this, click on the start option, then click on power and then select restart. So this will restart your system. After restarting your system, now check if the problem is fixed or not. If not, next solution is to update your graphics card. For that, go to the Windows search, search for device manager. After that, go below expand display adapters, right, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then again click on search automatically for drivers. So this will update your drivers to the latest version. And after that, try to launch the game and check if it helps to fix the issue. NVIDIA and AMD users can go through the link I have already provided in the description. Just update your graphics card and then check if the problem is fixed or not. Next solution is to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality, resolution, etc. Then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role. So uh, it's suggested to reduce anti-aliasing if available from high to medium or low set FPS at 60 and doing this can lower the overload on hardware and hopefully the issue can be fixed. If not move to the next solution. Next is to modify launch option. So for that go to steam under library section select your game. Now right click on it click on properties then click on uh, general here you need to type minus dx11 and then check if the problem is resolved if not type minus dx12 and then check if the issue is fixed or not if the problem still type minus d3d11 and then check if the problem is resolved or not if not next is to run game as administrator for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files and this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed just you need to search for the game application after searching for the game application now right click on it click on properties and then click on compatibility here select run this program as an administrator then hit on apply and ok now check if the problem is fixed if not click on run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 then hit on apply and ok or if it resolves then okay otherwise click on disable full screen optimizations and then hit on apply and okay and after that check if the problem is resolved or not next is to verify integrity of game files for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files then click on verify integrity of game files so after verifying the game files now check if the problem is fixed or not next solution is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the windows search search for windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature then click on change settings and here you need to check whether the game is added over here or not if not don't worry simply you need to click on allow another app then click on browse and this will uh, you, you need to go to the game folder where it has been installed select the game and add it to the list over here after adding it you need to search for the game so uh, the let's check for the game simply you need to select it after that, make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on OK. After this, check if the problem is resolved or not. 
next is to rename or delete the save game file so for this you have to go to the save game folder for that open file explorer then open the drive you have installed the game after that open uh, users folder then open your name folder then open saved games folder here rename the game folder but before that take a backup of that folders uh, on desktop and after that try to launch the game and see if it helps to resolve the issue if not next solution is to update windows for that go to windows search search for check for updates option here you need to click on check for updates so if there is any update available simply update your windows and after that try to launch the game and see if it helps to fix the issue next is to disable in game overlays so for that steam users or go to steam click on steam option over here then click on settings after that go below click on in game and here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game it's enabled you simply need to click on it to disable it and after that launch the game and check if it helps to fix the issue for geforce experience open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general switch off in game overlay options from here for discord overlay go to user settings game overlay tab switch off enable in game overlay option and after that check if the game issue is fixed or not next solution is to close unnecessary background tasks for that go to the windows search search for task manager after that uh, under processes tab you need to find those apps which is of no use for consuming high resources you simply need to select it after selecting them right click on it and click on end task so this will close the app from the pc completely that is running in the background and after that launch the game and check if it helps to resolve the issue if not next is to install visual c++ files so for that i have provided the link in the description you just need to copy it and paste it in your browser pasting it just go below and from here you need to download the visual c++ files after downloading it install them and after installing after installing now uh, restart your pc once and then log into the game and check if you can play it without any problem next is to update system bios so for that you need to first check your motherboard model after that visit to its support page and download the latest bios next follow the official instructions for bios flashing and finally restart your system and test the game if it's working or not next solution is to change virtual memory settings so for that uh, go to the windows search search for view advanced system settings then under advanced you need to click on settings option then go to the advanced tab and click on change now here you need to select the drive where your game has been installed after that click on custom size and here you need to type 12288 and in the maximum size you need to type 24576 this is uh, for the 8 gb ram if your system has 8 gb ram then make sure to enter these numbers and then click on set and okay always remember that the maximum or initial size would be for 8 gb ram is 8 into 1.5 times of ram and uh, for 16 gb it's a uh, uh, whatever the size of the ram is into 3 times so you just need to change this and after that check if the problem is resolved or not if not next is to disable antivirus program so if you are having any antivirus program that it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues so somewhere the antivirus program blocks the game and you cannot play so you are suggested to check the settings of that particular program or simple is to disable your antivirus program and after that launch the game and see if you can play it without any further problem if not final is solution is to reinstall the game so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it now click on manage and click on uninstall and after that click on uninstall option once again after uninstalling the game from your system restart your system once after restarting now launch steam and again reinstall the game and then check if the issue is resolved and you can play the game without any further problem 
so these are few suggested solutions that will surely help to fix kingdom come deliverance 2 legacy of the forge game crashing not launching lagging low fps black screen error or other issues on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you